Yo, what the hell's going on guys? Welcome to your third PSD2 responsive website tutorial and in this video we're going to create a mobile mock-up in the PSD file. <laughs> Alright then, so as you can see I've got the PSD file open right here again and what we're going to do in this tutorial is create a simple mock-up for our mobile design view. Now, you can skip this step if you want. I like to do it because I like to have a visual as to where I'm heading with the code to make our website look responsive. Now, it doesn't have to be pixel perfect or spot on or anything like that. We're just going to do it to give us some kind of visual guide as to where we're heading. All right. So to do that, I'm going to go to file and then new. And then I'm going to choose the width to be about 480 pixels because that's going to catch all the different mobiles. Height can remain, uh, remain at 3000. That will give us enough room. So that is going to be the baseline for our mobile design. Then I'm going to go to this little icon right here. This lets us see this one, two screens in one window. So if I do that, we can see this on the left. I'm going to move that to the right. And uh, then we've got this on the left. Now let's just zoom out a little bit. Um, if we can, there we go. All right, so... Now then, we just want to start transferring some stuff over to the right. And on the right, I'm going to zoom in so we can see a little bit more. All right, then that'll do. So, first of all, let's get this gray bar. And all you want to do is click and drag it. Literally, that's all I'm doing. Um, and then we'll have this marble thing right there. Something like that. Okay. Then, what I want to do is create a little rectangle here and it's going to be like a dark grey something like that and this is going to be for the mobile navigation just there like that okay we're going to put a little burger nav icon on that in a minute but for now let's just start dragging some more stuff across this is the banner so let's put that at the bottom right there something like that and i'm just going to resize it because it is a bit big so let's do it like that okay Something like that'll do. All right. And then we need these icons down here. Now, they're four across in a row on desktop. But as it gets smaller, they're going to have to start stacking up. So what I'm going to do is just get this icon right here. And that one, which is the light bulb. Yeah. And then we need to find the text, which is this one and this one. So we'll control click to get them all like. Oh, not that one. No, we don't need that. Um, this one and this one. So now we've controlled click all those layers. If we just click on one of them, we can drag them all across like that. Okay, so I'm just going to hold shift down while I make this a bit bigger like that. Okay, now we're going to want four of these. And instead of dragging them all across like that, what I'm going to do is just group those into a folder and I'll call it a POS point of sale. Then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go to duplicate group like that. And then I'm going to click the V icon to get the arrow. I'm going to hold down shift and press down like that. And it's just going to move it all the way down. Then we're going to do exactly the same. I'll just uh, duplicate the group again and uh, hold shift and bring it down. And you get the point here. You know, we're just stacking them up one on top of the other. Uh, do it one more time because we've got four in total. And I'll move that down again. And you'll notice I'm not being really peculiar with the uh, or really particular with the spacing between them because I'll control that all in the CSS later. They're all going to be equal later. I just want this to be a rough visual guide. Um, so now we've done that, we can do our latest works, which can go around about here. Let's just make that a little bit bigger, like that, something like that. Okay, perfect. Then we've got these things, which are going to go below it. And then the title, let's just move over to this one. The title there like that. I'll let, oops, that's a different one. Let's delete that. It's this one we want. Okay, perfect. And then some stuff underneath it. And blah, de, blah, de, blah. I'm not gonna do all three of these. You just have to imagine there's gonna be three stacked on top of each other because like I say, this doesn't need to be perfect. We're not gonna pass this off to a client or anything. This is for our own benefit. So after that, we've got this little gray bar with the quote in, which I'm gonna put around about there. That's gonna be after all three of these images that are stacked on top of each other. We'll grab that little thing there, that little icon, and also the text, which we'll just get into. Let's uh, 
do that and go down here and do it again just so it fits in I think that will be fine all right perfect so that's how that is gonna look roughly then finally we've got the footer down here and uh, to be honest what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna drag all the different things over um, I'm just gonna drag uh, drag one column because you'll get the idea because each column is gonna be one after another so get in touch is gonna be first and then we've got all this jazz right here blah 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 let's just make this a little bit bigger perfect okay so you get the idea it's just gonna go down in the footer like that so if I zoom out a little bit now you can see that this is gonna be the general kind of baseline of our mobile design okay and you'll notice that none of the actual content is gonna change from this to this and the order is gonna be pretty similar as well so that's why I'm doing this I'm doing it in such a way that it's gonna make our HTML easy to code because we're not gonna to have to write two sets one for um, desktops and one for mobiles we've still got exactly the same content and it's in pretty much the same order one two three four one two three four one two three one two three it's gonna be and then this and then this okay logo at the top then the navigation, then the banner. It's all the same order, pretty much. So we can keep our HTML exactly the same for desktop as we would for mobile. That's important because then we don't have to repeat ourselves in the HTML, which is pretty much bad practice these days because that's duplicate content. Okay, so there's just one more thing to do, and that is just to add a little Bergenav icon, just three little bars like that onto the mobile menu. Now, I've already created one. I'm just going to go to file and then place and that's going to place an image into this PSD on the right and uh, there it is the Bergenav so I'm just going to pop that up there one second let's just press enter and you can see that little icon right now I'll zoom in a little bit all right there it is so to do that all I've done guys is just create three little gray bars using this tool right here, the rectangle tool, then I'll go to the color up here, choose a color for it, and I'll just create three little gray bars like that on top of each other, okay? So that's all there is to it, and if you double click this, well, you won't be able to because you've not got it, but if I double click it, it's a smart object, so I'll just double click that and it'll go into the source file right there and you can change it, but all you wanna do is just add it directly on to your PSD file here. All right, so that is it now, guys. That is roughly the kind of thing we're going for on mobiles. Okay, so dead simple. Now we've got a kind of visual cue or a visual guide as to where we're heading with these mobile styles. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is dive right into the text editor. And we're going to start coding up the HTML for this web page. I'll see you guys then.